Comic Hall and Giveaway for June 2020. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, comic book fan. Welcome to another episode of the weekly VM Campos Comic Book Club. It's another month, and that means it's another comic haul, which means there is a giveaway going on. Watch the episode to learn how to enter the giveaway to win something cool and comic book related. In the meantime, let's talk about the comics that I got this month. Hashtag back the comeback. Have you been going to your comic shops nowadays and getting the comics that you missed or new books? Here's what I got this month. Starting off with Marvel, I got Amazing Spider-Man number 42, Legacy number 843. I got the Spider-Woman variant. I love this cover. We have Jessica Drew Spider-Woman in her old costume, actually. I'm not sure why they're not using her new modern one. But anyway, it's the, it's the old classic one, the, the red and yellow one. And then we got Spider-Man there as well, some birds in the background, uh, a cool like green tinted night with the moon. I like the pose, I like the position, her energy and everything, and the webs, I like this cover. So this is part two of a plot that's going on that's actually very sad about this like evil creature. But we get the backstory of the evil creature and we see that it might not be so evil after all. Or is it? You have to read the book to find out. Next up at Image, I got issue number one of Adventure Man. Now, the main reason that I got this was because of Rachel and Terry Dodson, the um, the inker and the and the penciler of this book. Yeah, I get Matt. I guess Matt Fraction's also a selling point. But look at this cover; it's amazing. It's a Dodson collaboration. Um, this is an interesting pastiche of like pulp superheroes. Art Deco style, diesel punk style of, uh, of art. And it takes place in a fictional world of Adventure Man, but then with the main character in the real world. And um, like the first half of the book is really interesting. I won't give it away. I won't spoil it. But the first half of the book is like the fictionalized account of things. And then the second half is like the real account of things. So I'm um, enjoying this so far. And it's actually like really thick. I don't know if it's got more pages than usual or it's just like very, very high quality paper and such. But the Dodsons, uh, Rachel and Terry Dodson, uh, a married couple, a married team of uh, creators, uh, they co-created... Uh, this with Matt Fraction over for Image Comics. So I'm enjoying the book so far. Next up, also at Image, uh, I got my my copy of Mercy Number no. 1. Moving on. Just kidding. Actually, I already had this before. This is Mercy Number no. 1 second printing. So Mirka and Dolfo's series about like some weird supernatural gothic um, intrigue happening in a mining town in, uh, what is it, Washington or Oregon? Over there in the Midwest, in the Northwest somewhere. Uh, it gets a second printing because uh, her story has been so popular that it's got second printing of issue number one. So I got the second printing. It looks like collectors are starting to also appreciate second printings and up, not just for the first printing, but any book that has something of importance like a first issue. The subsequent print runs are also pretty important. The storyline is also really interesting. It is for mature readers only. There's some sexy stuff and some violent stuff in here. So mercy number one, second printing. Okay, so I got the latest issue of Mercy, which is number three. This one's got the our comeback will be stronger than our uh, will be bigger than our setback um, special thing there that uh, Steve Jeppy um, over at Diamond was like, let's put this on our books to encourage people to come back to the shops. So um, I don't know how many other books are, are going to have this little special thing here, but this is one of those in that milieu. But anyway, I was getting this because of, I was reading the Mercy storyline. This is issue number three. This cover is freaking epic. There's like all of these um, weird red tentacle alien things. And and this is the Stepan Sajic cover. So uh, Andolfo does the writing and the story inside. But this is the Sajic uh, variant cover. Really epic, really grotesque. Uh, beautiful red tones and the main character so this is issue number three it this is concludes like the first uh, half of the storyline it's gonna be to my knowledge a six issue series and this completes the first story arc so they're gonna take a break and then they're gonna come back in a little while and then have issues uh, four five and six but this is uh, don't sleep on this one this has been a really cool very well drawn mature supernatural story 
Let's pause and do the giveaway. Here's what the giveaway will requirements will be. I am holding an unopened pack of Tiny Toon Adventures trading cards. So the giveaway will be visit my website vmcompost.com slash pound contact and send me an email to tell me your memories of Tiny Toon Adventures. Did you watch it back in the day? What year did it come out at? What was your favorite character or story or whatever? Tell me your memories of Tiny Toon Adventures. Can you believe it? It came out 30 years ago. This was the uh, cartoon that changed my life back in the day. So send me the email. Tell me about what you know about Tiny Toons, your recollections and such. And then you'll be entered to win something comic book related. Every month I do these uh, giveaways. And so you have the chance between now and the next month, which is on the last week of every month, to enter to win something. So go to my website, send me an email right there. Tell me what you think about Tiny Toons. If you're one of these youngsters that has never heard of Tiny Toons before, go research it, send me the email, tell me what you think about it, and then you'll be entered. So that's the giveaway, back to the show. Moving over to Dynamite, we've got Deja Thoris number five with yet another Luciano Perillo cover. Uh, Dan a Abnett is the, uh, the writer on this. So um, the plot is that the Princess of Mars is deposed and she's trying to, uh, you know, avoid assassination attempts and get her family back in good standing on Barsoom. That is Mars to you and I. But there's a lot of people that want her dead. So she's got to be on the lookout for that with her team and uh, to set things right. So uh, Deja Thoris Standalone series. I got this Pirello cover, but um, I, I'm trying to also collect the cosplay covers because I think those are always pretty cool. IDW has a brand new series. This is Sleeping Beauties number one. I got the variant cover B, Jen Woodall cover. So um, this is by Stephen King and Owen King. So uh, very high pr uh, pedigree right there. Basically what this is about is um, some sort of mystery about a woman that emerges from the woods and starts killing and everyone else in the town, all the other women in the town are falling to the Aurora virus and everyone's falling asleep, but she's the only one immune to that. So what's going on? The art is really cool. It's like this realistic style, uh, realistic grotesque style, and that's not a knock on it. I think labeling something grotesque is not necessarily a negative. It's just something very different than this. This covers like a very, you know, style of beauty. The internal art is a little bit more grungy, grotesque, realistic, and panel layouts are good and expressions are very realistic, very good. And I'm totally sold, like, what is going on in this story? It's, like, so weird and violent, and I can't wait for issue number two. But in the meantime, this month, I picked up issue number one. Another number one here, moving over to Oni Press. We have Rick and Morty Go to Hell number one. This is the uh, variant cover number two. I love this cover. You've got Rick and Morty falling through the levels of hell. And you see, of course, a bunch of the characters that you know and love from the series. Uh, so it's a new number one, a limited series. I'm not, not sure how many there are, probably like five or six issues or so as par for the course, usually four or five or so per mini series. So Rick and Morty have to go to hell. It's basically Dante's Inferno uh, story of them going through the various levels of hell. And this one sets it all up and we'll see how much further they have to go till they meet Satan himself. Next over at Ablaze, I picked up, hey, another Mirka and Dolpha book, Unsacred. This is issue number five, one of the variant covers. A lot of variants on this. This is cover D. So when I went to the shop, I said, give me the D. Variant cover D. This is a totally cute Angelina and Damiano. She's wearing this like cute like Neko ears and he's purring. And it's just so cute. Can't even believe it. Copyright on that seems to say 2016. So I don't know the full backstory of the series, but I guess she worked on it a while ago, 2016. Finally being published in the US by Ablaze. She's got Mercy being published at Image, and before that she had Unnatural over at Image as well. So this is a story about an angel and devil in love. The first several issues were of them courting each other and being chased and then eventually um, doing the dirty deed. And then they then they got married and now um, the, the trials and tribulations of married life when you're a demon and, and, he's a, and she's an angel. Uh, it's very funny. It's very like a European style of sexy and comedy. So uh, I got this variant cover. 
And then I also got the uh, issue number six continuing, continuing the storyline. No spoilers, but everything's hot here because there might be a bun in the oven. That's all I'll say about that. So it's a lot of like slice of life vignettes. Like every page is just basically uh, one self-contained story. Uh, you can't really show too much of the interiors. It is rated mature. And the art is, is amazing. It's Andolfo written and uh, drawn by. Covers are often by different people. This one's not Andolfo. This one is cover B. Oh, there's the, our comeback will be bigger. Um, so yeah, alternate variant cover. It reminds me like of the John Chris Felusi Spumco style. And it's a fun, sexy uh, comic book to check out if you're old enough. And one more. This is interesting. I've been meaning to get my hands on this finally. This is the Sumerian Queen of the Black Coast from Ablaze. This is Robert E. Howard's Savage Hero Uncensored. So this is public domain Conan stories. Because Marvel is currently publishing Conan. They published Conan stories in the 70s. Red Sonja debuted in Marvel Comics in the 70s. Then they lost the license for a while. And then I believe Dynamite was publishing Conan stories as well as Dark Horse. Dark Horse did Conan for a while. Dynamite did it too, but focused with Red Sonja instead. And then Marvel got Conan back and now they're publishing Conan stuff. Well, uh, when stuff is public domain, that means many creative people can do their version of things without having to litigate it in the courts. So Ablaze is doing their version of Conan stories that are legally safe to do so. And here we have Belit, Queen of the Black Coast, issue number one. So uh, Conan ends up on Belit's uh, pirate ship and uh, very violent, very sexy. Now, uh, uncensored, it's not as uncensored as you think. Spoiler alert. You're not going to see the, the whole thing full frontal or whatever, but it is uh, very sexy and very violent. That snake got chopped up really good. Um, but yeah, this is issue number one, one of the many variant covers that were out there. This is cover B, I like them all. Interior art is a different artist, I believe. Uh, hey, wait a minute, if I look at that, is that a Mirka and Dolfo signature? Yeah, that's Mirka, I recognize it now. So that is Mirka and Dolfo doing a variant cover for this. Well, she's on a blaze as well, so that would make sense. So I got this, issue number one. So there you go, that was my comic book haul. Hashtag back the comeback of June 2020. Got a lot of books that I've been reading before. Got some new issue number ones to start to read some new stories, some classic ones that are always in my heart. And then some new ones, like I said, from some great creators that I enjoy. Once again, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, no purchase necessary. Somewhere in the video, I tell you how to enter the giveaway. Do so before the next comic call of next month on the final week, the final Wednesday of next month. Tell me what you thought about my comics. What am I missing? What do you want to read yourself? What should I be picking up? What did you pick up? Tell me all about it in the comments. If you head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash vmcampos, you can follow for free to be alerted to everything that I do regarding comic books. I've got my weekly top comic book picks live show you should become a part of check that out every saturday 11:30 a.m pacific time i've got also my top lists top five amazing things top 10 whatever comic con cosplay videos and the like get all of that for free on my patreon consider going to the one dollar tier to unlock the exclusive stuff and at the two dollar tier i'll actually mail you some comics in appreciation for joining the vmc crew if you can't pledge at the moment, no worries. Simply like, follow, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It really helps. I really appreciate it. This has been the Weekly VM Campus Comic Book Club, and I'll see you next week.